Hey everyone, it's Carly again, coming to you from the library. I hope you're all having a great day today. Today I'll be reading, Amelia Bedelia is for the birds. Amelia Bedelia loved her swing set. She had loved it when she was a baby, and she still loved it now that she was big. It looks like a fun swing set. Every day when Amelia Bedelia got home from school, she raced outside and hopped on her swing. She swung back and forth, forth 50 times. 47, 48, 49, 50! Then she slid down the slide five times. One, two, three, four, five! After that, she ran inside for a snack and did her homework. This was Amelia Bedelia's routine, and it made her happy. One afternoon, Amelia Bedelia found a pile of sticks and leaves and grass on the top of her slide. Yuck! She said as she swept everything onto the ground. Who made this mess on my slide? She slid down the slide super fast and raced across the yard. Some birds began chirping loudly and fluttering around her head. They were not singing a happy song. Amelia Bedelia had a feeling the birds were mad at her. Amelia Bedelia ran into the kitchen. Look, Mom, she said, pointing out the window. Those birds are making a mess on my slide. They watched the birds pile more twigs and leaves and grass on the top of the slide. What are they making? What do you think they're making? I think they're making a nest. Oh, how sweet, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. The robins are building a nest on your slide. They can't do that, said Amelia Bedelia. I use my slide every day. Well, I guess you could scare them away, said her mother. Or you could let them build a nest and start a family. Maybe. You mean there, would, there will be baby birds, asked Amelia Bedelia, born in our backyard on my slide? She gobbled down her snack. I'm going to the yard, Mom, she said. Halt, young lady, said her mother. Your homework comes first. After homework, dinner, and the dishes, Amelia Bedelia finally went back outside. She felt really bad about wrecking the bird nest. She gathered more twigs and leaves and grass to replace what she had tossed away. She got yarn, scraps of felt, and fluffy feathers from her arts and crafts box. She left little heaps of stuff at the bottom of her slide. Here you go, Mr. and Mrs. Robin, she called to the birds. Here is a nest supply shop just for you. The next day, Amelia Bedelia woke up early. Birds were chirping and singing right outside her window. They had been up for hours working away. Wow, said Amelia Bedelia at breakfast. Look at their new nest. It reminds me of one of your art projects, sweetie, said her mother, smiling. Try these binoculars, said her father. They will make your bird's eye view even better. The mother robin sat on the nest day and night in rain and shine. She sat there for almost two weeks. One day, Amelia Bedelia saw something new. Mom, she said. There are four tiny blue eggs. They are robin's eggs blue, said her mother. Of course they are, said Amelia Bedelia. What other color would they be? Finally, one day after school, Amelia Bedelia spotted the mother bird holding a worm in her beak. Her babies were peeping. Feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. The eggs had hatched. At dinner that night, Amelia Bedelia's father talked about a mess he had fixed at his job. Hey, Dad, said Amelia Bedelia, the next time someone at work opens a can of worms, bring some home for the robins. The robin family gave Amelia Bedelia a new routine. She watched them every morning before school and every afternoon when she got home. 
She saw the baby birds get bigger. She watched their feathers grow. She saw them leave the nest for the first time. How cool. One day she watched them fly away. Amelia Bedelia was so sad. When you grow up, you will spread your wings and fly away too, said her father. We'll have an empty nest, just like Mr. and Mrs. Robin. Pages are sticking again. Amelia Bedelia did not believe it, but she knew it might be true. Now, Amelia Bedelia's mom's eyes were all watery, the, the way they were when she watched her favorite movies. That's a long way off, sweetie, her mom said. Amelia Bedelia waited a few days to make sure the robins were really gone. Then she climbed up her slide and carefully took the rest the nest down. Amelia Bedelia took the nest to school to show her class. She told them about the robin family. Well, maybe. That's amazing, said Miss Edwards. Amelia Bedelia's teacher, how did you find out so much about robins? A little birdie told me, said Amelia Bedelia. The end.